Hi, I'm Nicholas Bergner with School of Permaculture. And today we're going to go over a first flush system. It's, uh, it's right at the beginning of fall and we just got our first rains of the season uh, right now. Actually, it's, we're going through just a light period. It's about to dump on us a whole bunch again. Uh, we just filled this IBC toad up in three minutes, so um, it's getting pretty heavy. Uh, but I wanted to come out and show you how it works, when it was working, so you can really grasp and understand the concept of a first flush system. A first flush system takes the dirty water out uh, of, of, the, of the clean water reservoir, and it does that by being like a, a filter, in essence, or a first flush diverter. So as the dirty water hits the roof and comes down to a gutter system, that gutter system then goes into a first flush system. And so this is all two inch PVC, uh, almost everything fits to a two inch PVC. This is a, an elbow and then that's a two inch to three inch uh, coupling converter. We just put a screen around it. And that comes down and then it fills up this L right here. And so the dirty water fills up here first. And then at the end of this, we have a cap that goes on and it gets screwed in just tight enough to where it will let the water um, the dirty water seep out very slowly, but it won't do it while it's raining. It will actually hold the water, continue to fill up, and then it will start teeing off right here, and the clean water will dump then into the reservoir we want to take it. The dirty water will stay here. So that's basically the first flush system. So these are three inch uh, PVCs, these are two inch, and everything just kind of connects together. Make sure you um, uh, when we first set this up, we didn't use any silicone. There's no silicone on it now, as you'll see uh, a little bit later. We have a, uh, uh, a funny video for that. But, but as, when you're doing this, make sure you silicone and use uh, PVC cement so you get it in real snug once you know exactly where you're going to put it. So if we have two of these together. A lot of people uh, question, how do you put them together? And at the front is where you do this. So we have a rubber coupling. Uh, which goes on, it's siliconed on, and then that comes out and has T's for this two inch PVC pipe here, and then they connect together. And we'll put a third one over here, so we'll have three. And on the end of each one, we have, um, we have these T's. It's teed off to go, to, to be exit, to exit the water. So we can open this up, and this will fill, fill a container like this, or a five gallon bucket, or this particular one, it, uh, it goes underground, and as you can see if we turn the camera around, it feeds the backyard food forest garden in the summertime. Uh, and that's all gravity, that, that's all ran by gravity with no pumps, just with these um, IBC totes being about six inches off the ground with cement pallets, that means pallets that hold cement, and just from the volumetric pressure. The last thing to note on this is that each tank, each tank needs a vent. If you don't put a vent on here, it means just an open space to the air. Uh, when you take a, when you take the water out, it will actually collapse like a soda can when you crush it. So, guys, that's it. That's how you do a uh, first flush system. It's really, uh, it's pretty easy. Most of this stuff was bought at a big box store such as Home Depot or Lowe's, and it's been very useful for our backyard food forest garden. We love you guys. You rock. I'll see you next time.